One of the biggest misconceptions of titanium is that it's the strongest thing in the world. It's truly not as strong as everything else. There's some good competitors out there right now. Titanium is known to be that strong because it's half the weight of steel. I'm James Hosteller, Vice President, TMS Titanium. It has a real similar strength of steel, but being half the weight, the weight to strength ratio is incredible. Uh, historically, most racers end up with the wrong grade of titanium. Uh, titanium does have some bad history. Most of it comes from using the wrong grade in the right place. Here at TMS, we try to ask a few more questions when the initial call comes in to help you decide which grade of titanium you need. A lot of times you need something that's strong and sometimes you don't need something that's strong, but you need something that you can bend. So there's definitely a right application for titanium. You need to make sure you get the right grade for what you're doing. The biggest reason titanium is such a great metal for the racing industry is because it, it's a third lighter than chromoly. So if you were to build a wheelie bar that originally was 10 pounds, you might be able to, to build it and it might only be six pounds. Um, it's got you know, really good characteristics on rebound. Um, you know, you, 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 might have, you might have to use a little bigger diameter tubing, but even doing that, you are gonna lose the weight. And, uh, you know, there's several things on our car that, that we've built out of titanium that I, I really believe that turned into ET in a uh, mile an hour. The common misconception is, you know, titanium is a, a great metal for saving weight and protecting the driver in the race cars. A lot of people will tell you that their car is as light as it needs to be, they can't get any lighter. Well, titanium gives you the option to move some of that weight around. Sometimes if you get under your class weight, you can add weight where it needs to be and it gives you an option. The other thing is the driver safety. It's great for driver protection as well as keeping the parts of the engine inside the engine not flying out into the stand. What we try and do is get the rotating weight down in all these cars, engines, whatever. And uh, uh, titanium plays an important role because it replaces the steel part, which is a lot heavier. Uh, 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 and that's where it's a big help. It's not as it's stronger than aluminum, but not as light. Okay. And, uh, but it's, it's lighter than steel. Uh, it might not be as strong as steel, uh, but, but comparable enough that uh, we're able to use it. Uh, titanium, obviously, mostly commonly known as an aerospace metal. So most of the time we'd find in airplanes, back in the 50s when we were just getting started with all the drag racing, uh, it was pretty common for people to take a few pieces home and turn them into race car parts. Uh, unfortunately, that was a, a tough time and there's a lot of lessons learned. Um, what we've learned going forward is there are specific grades for specific applications. On top of that, it's not only just an aerospace metal anymore, we're using it everywhere. So here at TMS, we're cutting parts every day for the top teams in NASCAR and NHRA, but we're also still servicing aerospace, NASA, Boeing, Airbus, all the big aerospace players. Titanium's used everywhere. Here locally in San Diego, we also have a lot of the drone construction and a lot of satellite construction. So we're truly servicing everything from yo-yos to space shuttle parts. Some of the titanium is not used in all applications, so it's really specific. If you're making a titanium firewall, you'll use something different than you use when you're making a titanium transmission tunnel. Obviously, the tunnel has some forming involved, so we'll use a titanium that you can form. A lot of people will get a hold of the wrong grade of titanium, and before you know it, they can't bend it at all, and it just becomes a headache. TMS makes great strides in making sure that the consumers got what they need for their application. It, titanium's got 40 different grades, so it's really easy to get a hold of something that's not right for what you're doing. When that initial call comes in for a request on titanium, we'll ask quite a few questions just to make sure that we know what you're doing and we can help you pick out the right grade of titanium. Well, TMS 
as far as uh, knowing the metal, because a lot of us aren't engineers, uh, we know what we want as far as what we're trying to do. And uh, uh, they have allowed us to come up and uh, give us some specs as far as uh, uh, what we need, what grade, so on and so forth. TMS Titanium is the best place to buy your titanium because you don't have to buy, you know, a whole length of tubing if you only need four or five feet. You can call the guys up over there, they'll cut it to length. If you have, you know, 20 parts that you need to a certain length, they'll cut it for you. Um, basically, you know, they've got a lot of remnants, you know, left over from, from other jobs that they can sell you to save you quite a bit of money. Um, you know, it, that's the problem with building stuff out of, out of different materials. Um, you know, you might only need a 4x4 four four piece of material, but in, you know, most people won't sell you a 4x4 four four piece of material. You'll have to buy the whole sheet, and then the, re the other 4x4 four four sheet that, that you sheared off might sit in your shop or garage for, for five years before you need it again. And, uh, and the way they do it, they're able to save you money and, and give you, you know, really good quality material. Plus, they're knowledgeable enough, if you're building something that needs to be, you know, formed, they know what grade to use. So they send you the proper grade. If you need something that needs to be really tough, like bracket material, um, they're going to send you a grade that's, you know, that's not so malleable, that'll, you know, stand the the stress of what you're trying to use it for.